The following tutorial will give you an overview of your Super 73 bikes, brake system components, and some of the necessary procedures to keep the brake system properly maintained. It will include information regarding both hydraulic and mechanical disc brakes. The type of brake system employed on your bike will depend on which model you have. We will be discussing the levers, calipers, brake pads, and rotors in the overview. We will then go over brake pad replacement, cable adjustment, as well as rotor removal and replacement. You will need the following tools to complete procedures outlined during this tutorial. 2mm hex wrench, 3mm hex wrench, 5mm hex wrench, T25 Torx wrench, and pliers. If the following maintenance procedures are not within your skill set, we recommend taking the bike to a professional cycle mechanic for proper maintenance. Super 73 will not be held liable for damages that occur due to improper handling of the bike. Let's start with the brake levers which are located on the handlebars. Familiarize yourself with which lever engages which brake on your bike as it may vary. The brake levers on your Super 73 are equipped with sensors that will disengage the motor when the brake lever is pressed and have HEGO plug connections that run to your wiring harness. It is important to keep these HEGO plugs connected for proper use of the bike. If your bike has mechanical brakes, there is a barrel adjuster at the lever housing that can extend the housing length for cable adjustment purposes. Hydraulic brakes are designed to use brake fluid, so if you have hydraulic brakes, your brake lever housing will have a fluid reservoir that can be accessed to add fluid or bleed the brakes. On the inside of the hydraulic brake levers, there is a reach adjustment screw that can be tightened or loosened to adjust the grip of each lever. If your levers feel too loose, you can tighten the reach adjustment screw to correct the issue by using a two millimeter hex wrench. You will also find handlebar clamp bolts on your lever, which can be used to adjust the lever positioning Adjusting the lever position will require either a 3mm or 5mm hex wrench, depending on your bike model. Loosen the clamp bolts just enough that the handle can be adjusted, set to the desired position, and tighten the clamp bolts to secure in place. Next, let's take a look at the hose that runs out of the lever housing down to the calipers. Mechanical brake systems have a cable that runs through protective housing, and hydraulic brakes have a hose filled with brake fluid instead of a cable line. Damage to these lines can result in your brakes not working properly, so it is important to inspect these lines frequently for damage. We will now go over the brake calipers. The brake calipers are located on the frame near the front and rear disc rotors. The calipers are mounted to the frame with two 5mm hex bolts. Mechanical brakes will have a lever arm on the caliper with a pinch bolt that secures the end of the cable and runs to the barrel adjuster. When the lever is squeezed, the lever arm on the caliper will engage and push the brake pads onto the rotor. When the lever on a hydraulic brake is squeezed, it causes pressure in the brake fluid line to run down to the caliper and engage the pistons. The pistons then push the brake pads onto the rotor. The brake caliper also houses the brake pads, so let's take a closer look at those now. The brake pads sit inside the caliper, and each caliper has two brake pads and a pad holder installed. They are held in place with either a retaining bolt or a cotter pin, depending on your bike model. Brake pads should be replaced if they fall below one millimeter in thickness or become contaminated. Brake pads can become contaminated by oil, grease, or brake fluid, and can potentially contaminate the rotor in the process. If you hear squeaking or the lever is having a hard time engaging the brakes, this is a possible sign of contamination of the pads or the rotor. Let's take a quick look at the brake rotors. You will find a disc rotor attached to your front and your rear wheel assembly. They are fastened to the wheel with six Torx screws. It is important to check the rotor alignment on a frequent basis to ensure it is not bent or contaminated. To check for proper alignment, Spin the wheel and check for regular movement in the rotor. If you find any irregular movement, first check that the wheel is properly seated on the frame and that the rotor is fully tightened onto the wheel. If you still find irregular movement occurring, you may need to replace the rotor. Contact customer care if you need to order a new rotor for your bike. We will review rotor removal and replacement later in the video. Now that we have gone over the main components of your brake system, let's go over some of the common procedures necessary for maintaining your Super 73's brakes. We will start with brake pad replacement. Brake pads are available to purchase directly from Super 73 on our website. Be sure you are purchasing the pads that correlate to your specific bike and brake model, as different models employ different size brake pads. To remove the brakes, first you must remove the two bolts that fasten the caliper to the frame with a 5mm hex wrench. Once the caliper has been removed, you will need to remove the retaining bolt or cotter pin keeping the pads in place. For hydraulic brakes, you may need to remove a small bolt clip before you can unscrew the retaining bolt. The retaining bolt can be unscrewed with a 3mm hex wrench. For mechanical brakes, carefully bend the cotter pin until it is straight with pliers, then pull the pin out of the caliper. Once the retaining bolt or cotter pin has been removed, push down on the pad holder and the brake pads will come out. Once removed, dispose of the old pads and pad holder. Your new pair of brake pads will come with a new pad holder. Place the pads onto the pad holder and reinstall on the caliper. For hydraulic brakes, reinstall the retaining bolt. 
For mechanical brakes, reinstall the cotter pin and gently bend the end back into the locked position with pliers. Carefully place the caliper back into position and loosely tighten the two 5mm hex bolts to the frame so the caliper still moves freely. Squeeze the brake lever and hold it down while tightening the two hex bolts on the caliper. Once tightened, release the brake lever and check that the pads are properly aligned on the rotor. If you hear any rubbing or squeaking, check the rotor and adjust the caliper position as necessary for balanced brake pad alignment. For mechanical brake systems, you may need to adjust the cable tension as your pads wear down or when you replace brake pads. Once you start to notice the levers getting a little loose, you can go to the barrel adjusters on the lever housing and the caliper lever arm to tighten the connection. Remember to reset the barrel adjusters back to the lowest tension setting when you replace brake pads, and then adjust the cable tension at the pinch bolt during pad replacements as necessary. If your rotor has become damaged or contaminated, you may need to remove it for repair or replacement. To remove the rotor, you must first remove the wheel from the bike frame. For wheel removal, please review our wheel tutorial video. Once the wheel has been removed from the frame, you will need a T25 Torx wrench to remove the six screws. Set screws aside for reinstallation and then guide the rotor off of the wheel. To reinstall the rotor, guide it back into place on the wheel and then loosely put all six screws into place. Tighten one screw at a time, working your way around the rotor in a crisscross pattern, alternating sides with each screw tightened. Once all screws are fully tightened, the wheel is ready to be reinstalled on the bike. Once the wheel has been reinstalled, verify that the rotor is not rubbing against the brake pads when the wheel turns. If it is not properly aligned, check that the wheel has been properly seated on the frame and adjust as necessary to properly align the rotor with the brake pads. This concludes the overview of your brake system and general maintenance procedures. If you are having issues with your brake system and need support, please contact Super 73 directly by sending an email to customercare at super73.com or calling 814-747-9072 and a writer advocate will be able to assist you.